this is a piece called Alexander's Horse, which is based on the fact of Alexander the Great, life and death, which is a very sticky subject, but the, bo the bottom line is there's a skull, he represents the horse he rode on, and also the impermanence of human beings. And also the fact that we, we cut up and we divide, and we've cut up everything to do with tribes or indigenous stuff. So dissecting and rebuilding is what rebirth is. So outside of the death of it and the kind of that drama side of it, I think it's better to realize also one has to be part of the other, but we have to celebrate life even, even more. And the idea of cutting up and using this beveling was to show how we need to put ourselves apart and put ourselves back together again. The, the old inspiration for the frames was to do with a biscuit that was given to me. Yes, a biscuit. And I was getting into a lot of trouble and I used to always just go to the grandma's house for safe haven after being in the naughty room, I guess. And she always gave me a cup of tea with a biscuit. And one of these biscuits was like a very tan and, and, and matte colour. And on top was a sugar coating and it was shiny. So I wanted to have this shiny candy effect, but with a kind of biscuit edge. And that really is a very Freudian way of looking at the way that there are very basic ideas in art that can inspire you. These things that happen to us when we're young, we don't necessarily know the effect then. But later on in life, if you stay on the affirmative path, you start to realize, realizing that I could create something and as long as I wasn't distracted too much, I could create something that people started saying, that's actually really nice, I like that. He's different. Goldie was the guest art lecturer on the opening day of the exhibition, enthralling the IB students with his life story and outlook on art. He ended the workshop with an impromptu art session, then officially opened the students' exhibition, which is spread throughout the lobby of the school's main building. The exhibition runs until 27 May.